Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yesterday I was feeling inspired and made some new cookies. And today I thought it'd be fun to show you how I'd style and photograph those. Now the oven is preheating, but first I'd like to take some photos of the ingredients itself. The cookies I made are with toffee and it looks pretty cool. So I wanted to take a photo of that. And then I have the actual cookie dough and I wanted to take a photo of that as well. I have some flaky sea salt standing nearby because that makes everything better. And talking about equipment, I have my normal camera, it's a 24 to 70 lens, and then I have my macro lens for some nice close-up shots. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Quick tip as the first batch is going into the oven, if you use an ice cream scoop for your cookies, never roll them out in your hands to make them smooth. Always keep them a little bit rugged like this because that looks nicer after baking and nicer in the photo. This is the first batch. This one is perfect, but as you can see, some of them are not round. So I have a cookie cutter and then I'll just... for the perfect round cookie, right? This one as well. Crepe it in. Gentle because they are very, very soft at this stage. Okay, now we let these cool off a bit and then transfer them to a wire rack while we bake the rest. Hey guys, we're back. So the cookies have baked. Um, when you saw me before, I just got back from my run. So I did my makeup and my hair because we need to leave in about 20 minutes. Um, so this is going to be a quick one. Uh, I'd like to show you my setup. Okay, so it's nothing fancy. I have my warm tone brown uh, backdrop over here. I have some white and brown baking uh, paper. I have this cookie rack cooling rack and then I have my bowls of toffee and um, sea salt and I also have some chopped up chocolate just to sprinkle around and I have my camera on a tripod I always photograph on a tripod and I have my uh, macro lens on because I prefer macro lens when I'm shooting cookies or just smaller stuff in general so never mind the mess but yeah we're in a hurry so we need to get going these are the cookies. The last batch is still in the oven, but we can manage with, uh, what is it, 20, I believe. So, yeah, let's do this. I'm going to start with brown baking paper because I love the warm tones on top of each other. And what I like to do with cookies, especially those that have like little pools of molten chocolate, um, I like to smear some chocolate on the baking paper to make it look more well, realistic, like you just got these out of the oven. So this cookie is still nice and warm, it still has uh, melted chocolate on top. I'm just going to dip in my finger and then just going to make like, like that and just do it all around a bit. I add up my cookies on top of the chocolate and it just looks... Um, I don't know, it looks a bit chaotic, but I love that in food photography and just not that neat. Uh, yeah, so let's take a few shots and see, uh, see where we end up with. To get even more of that organized chaos feeling, like, as I like to call it, um, add some of the ingredients of your cookies. So um, put sea salt on the top, it's just like put loads, it doesn't matter. <laughs> And then add in some of the toffee brittle. Just scatter it around a bit. Okay. And then some chocolate. Okay, let's take some more shots. Okay, so I'm pretty much loving these shots already. I'm just going to try to add in that bowl uh, more into frame covered in chocolate <laughs> to see um, what that brings to the photo. 
not really loving that so I'm sticking with this setup and now I'm going to play around a bit more like taking a bite out of this cookie and then changing my angles a bit. Important to remember is when you shoot with a macro lens, because it's so zoomed in already and you're so close to your subject, the depth of field for your aperture will be even stronger. So usually it's um, important to up the aperture a bit so that you can actually see the entire cookie instead of just like the one small piece. I hope you enjoyed this video, found these tips useful. If so, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Um, I'll put some of the tips uh, in the description. I don't have time to talk about them right now because you really have to go. So, bye.